Hello everyone, Michelle here, the Brave Homeschooling Mama. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a new viewer, a little bit about myself. I am a, t a school teacher turned homeschool mom. I have two kids, a 13 year old and a five year old. And I make homeschooling videos to help uh, new homeschooling parents. I love to do curriculum videos and encouragement and mo motivation videos to help all you new homeschooling parents out there. Today, what I have for you all I'm going to show you the inside of the general science one survey of earth and, and sky from master books so i'm going to go ahead and show you the inside of each book i'll give you a quick look at the table of contents and i'll show you how each book is laid out and then i'll show you the teacher's guide so i'm going to start with the mineral book it's the first one i have here and all the books are scan uh, they are laid out the same way they're not written by the same author but they're laid out the same way so i'm going to give you a quick look here at the table of contents i'm not going to read it all but just a quick look and the for forward here and then we have how to use this book so each book is separated into levels we have level one level two and level three the level one is more for the younger reader if you're using this with a student that's below the sub because this book this uh, curriculum is from 7 to 12th grade so maybe if you're using it with a younger kid or you're doing this with the older and you're younger you can have just the younger kids do the level one and then kind of in the middle like upper elementary middle you know, or, or or middle school use the level two and then the older kids the high schoolers do all the levels level one two and three okay so like you see they're all this is level one okay level two i think that was right level three is the gray and then level three all the gray so this book is like i am really impressed this book is absolutely beautiful all of them are absolutely beautiful and i'm really excited to go through them with my daughter i haven't decided yet if i'm gonna have her read some of it and i'll read some with her and because we're also working on some you know uh narration so i might have her read some of it narrate i'll read she narrates so and all this book if you don't know anything about master books they are a, they are a christian company so all these books are going to be from a christian perspective okay so this is the ocean book i'm going to give you like a quick look at the table of contents uh, but this is the same uh, is um laid out level one level two level three and well the table of content is right here i couldn't find it so if you look at this right here so these are different things that we're going to be studying and look about how beautiful this book is it's just amazing like i, I could read it just by myself if i didn't have to teach it to my daughter look how beautiful my daughter loves marine biology and you can do this books it they have an order in the in a teacher's guide i will show you in a second but you can do this in whatever order you want okay like if my i i'm gonna ask her what do you want to do first my daughter loves marine biology so we might start with the oceans first or whether um it all depends okay so but she's been interested a lot in weather lately she asked about about you know how you know thunderstorm happen and which is gonna be good for me because i'm not 100 sure sure how all that happens but anyway um so this is the table of contents. So this is everything we're going to be studying. Again, all the different levels. It says God created. Like I said, all in a Christian view. Just, I just want to give you a quick overview and I'll show you every single page. But just to get an idea in case you're looking at a science curriculum that is God-centered. The next one is astronomy. I'm looking forward to this one too. I'm looking forward to all of them. Table of content. Okay. And then again, it has the different levels for your child. So you kind of choose, you read and see what is, you know, if your child has thing you, if you have a younger kid, like I said, just do the level one. I think I might read everything, you know, but give more attention to level one and level two. And then just read level three, but not, you know, not give it as much attention or, ex you know, explain it as much. But just to get a quick, you know, it doesn't hurt. All right. So I'm so excited. This book is just beautiful. Look at this. It's just amazing. Amazing. 
Okay. So here is the table of contents, okay? And all the master books, uh, teacher's guide, and when there's a teacher guide and a workbook, they're set up the same way. So we had the table of contents. We have how to use this guide. Okay, so it's approximately 30 to 45 minutes per lesson, five days a week. This is just a guide. I tell parents and I tell, I in, in all my videos when I'm talking about homeschooling, that the curriculum that you have is a guide. You do not have to follow it exactly to the T what it says. If you want to do it only in four days, you do it in four days. If you want to take uh, two weeks to do one lesson, you do that. I think you need to understand and just realize that you can do this however you want to, however you see fit and works best for your family. This is just a guide to help you. Uh, course objectives. And this is the schedule. So it has week one, day one to five. So it's a lot of, some of them just had some days just have to do reading. So maybe just read everything in one day and then do the question the other, read and do the questions. However it works best for your kid. That's what just the beauty of homeschooling. So here it has the weather book first, and then it has the astronomy for the second quarter, then um, minerals, and then astronomy. But you can do this, and then oceans. But you can do this in whatever order you want. So I'm going to show you what a lesson looks like or the, or the worksheet. Like this is the first one for chapter one of the weather book. So if you have words to know and words here, I think when I'm going to have my daughter, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I'm going to use it to see if this might be helpful for you. I'm going to have her do the words before we do the lesson. So may, um, I'm going to give it that to her for independent work where she just looks at the book and she, she can look at the chapter and find the definitions in the glossary so at least she has an idea where we're going to be studying so that that's what i'm planning on doing we're going to have some work boxes and i'm going to put that in there for her to work on before the lesson and i will talk about work boxes in a different video video so then you answer some short answer um kind of the same format the word the words some short answer true or false and some of them have an activity at the end okay it, it says in the book for the high schoolers to do, try to do as many as activities as you can. But I think for middle school, maybe pick and choose a couple per quarter or per, per book to do. You don't have to do them all. You don't want to uh, overwhelm your children unless they really want to. Uh, but I know I won't be able to do that. But just I'm going to pick a couple things. So have her look at a couple things and that, that you know we that she, she, she can work on for the activities. Just to get a little bit more in depth. Okay, let's here, sketch the fog diagram shown on page 30. That's easy. If you look at a page, you can sketch it, you can trace it. Okay, write a report on, you know, thunderstorm. It could be something simple. Find out what a thunderstorm is, how thunderstorm form. Okay, or you can find a video and she can look it up and then she can narrate it back to me. There's so many ways, so many things that you can do. So all the lessons here are the same. There are quizzes in here. There's also tests. And then there's an answer key in the back, okay? And there's a grocery, grocery of all the terms that we're gonna be using. And they're also in, in the back of, of the books, okay? So this is, this is a quick walkthrough of General Science One Survey of Earth and Sky. I hope this was helpful. This is why I do this video, to help you out in case you're looking for a curriculum or you don't know what to use. You can see the inside of it and then later on I'll do a, 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 a review after we use it, but right now I just wanna show you in case this is the time you're looking for a curriculum if you haven't uh, gotten it yet, okay? So thank you so much for watching and be on the lookout for more homeschooling videos. And, and I will see you all soon. Bye.